What's up folks, this is Zach with ECS Tuning and today I've got some great news for B9S4 owners. We made an intake. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to remove your stock intake and how to install ours. Uh, we've got two options. We've got our Luftechnik intake with the aluminum heat shield and our coal phaser Luftechnik, which this one is, with the carbon fiber lid. Uh, before we get into the install, I want to go over the intake and talk about what makes it so dang good. So first we've got our high flow air filter with a cotton filter element and a bell mouth inlet to reduce turbulent air coming in. And then we've got our filter adapter made out of 6061 aluminum. It looks very nice and has a smooth taper down to your stock turbo inlet pipe. Then we've got our aluminum heat shield. It's wrinkled black powder coated and as the name suggests, it shields from heat. And if you want a little further heat isolation, we've got our optional pre-cut Reflectigold. So then we've got our silicone inlet pipe, which removes a factory accordion tube, so you get a little smoother airflow there. And then of course we've got our carbon fiber lid. Uh, it is built to use the factory air inlet, and it's hand laid carbon, so it looks beautiful and it fits right at home in that engine bay. But onto the important stuff. This thing sounds sick, and it makes an additional seven wheel horsepower at peak on the factory tune, since nobody has a tune out for this thing yet. Uh, so. That said, I'm ready to get this thing installed, show you how to do it, and let you hear how it sounds. So, let's get into it. So this is a very simple install, and with the exception of the eight millimeter open end wrench that you need, you can do it entirely with a Schwaben quarter inch drive socket set. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is get the engine cover out of our way. Just pull straight up, pop it off its grommets, and it's gone. All right, so with your seven millimeter socket, you're gonna pull these two hose clamps and get this accordion tube out of the way. All right, so this is obviously our ECS uh, hood pull, but if you have the stock one, there's gonna be a little release button right at the back. You'll just pull up with your finger and then pop it off. This one has a couple set screws that are already loosened, so it just comes right off. All right, so to get this cover off, you're gonna pull all the tabs at the front. You should be able to get it just with your fingers, pull it up, and then pull it out. All right, so now with our T25, we're gonna take these two screws out. get our inlet out. Okay, and now this piece should be ready to come out too. It'll just kind of come back and pull out of the air box. Now we're ready to pull out our air box. Just grab onto it and pull straight up. It's just grommets. Uh, so there should be three and we're gonna reuse them. So some of them will stay in the car, some will stay in the box. Pull those off the air box or out of the car and we'll transfer them to our new intake. All right, so now we're ready to install our heat shield, but we need to get the heat shield ready to install first. Uh, this one is already ready, but uh, yours out of the box. You'll need to install your edge trim. Uh, you'll need to put this grommet in place with that screw there. And these posts for the grommets that we pulled off the air box, uh, these are slotted so you can adjust them uh, to get your fitment just right. These are already installed. You just use a 10 millimeter socket and an eight millimeter open end wrench, tighten them down, and then the grommets go on just like so. Now this is ready to put in place. All right, so we've only got the two out of three grommets used. That's fine, the third one will come into play in a bit, but for now it's just these two going down into the, the uh, two receptacles on your frame rail. Uh, and then this screw will match up to the negative post right there. Get those lines in there. Line the grommets up with the holes and push down. And then we can thread that screw in with a five millimeter Allen. All right, now we're gonna put our silicone tube on. You can start with your first hose clamp in place, run it right through like that, and onto the turbo inlet pipe. And then this, uh, this hose clamp will be covered later, so just put it on in a way that's easy to tighten down. All right, so we'll throw this hose clamp on silicone, just like so. And then we're ready for our filter and adapter, which I've already got mated to each other. Just push that in there. And then you've got two threaded holes on the adapter that will run these screws into uh, with a three millimeter Allen. All right, we'll tighten down our hose clamps real quick with our seven. All 
All right, so we're gonna reuse our factory inlet scoop. Um, we need to put half of the hardware in now before we put the lid on. So we get it lined up. And so there's gonna be two screws with a four millimeter Allen head and a 10 millimeter nut. Uh, there's gonna be a longer one and a shorter one. The shorter one's gonna go on the passenger side right now. All right, so we are ready for our carbon lid. Um, we need to put our third and final grommet in place first though. So the third and final grommet post goes on the underside of the lid there. Uh, and I've got the grommet already in its home in the car. And I put a little bit of lube in it to help poke this thing into it. Uh, I think that's the easiest way to do it, but whatever works, works. So we'll turn the lid into place. And get that grommet lined up with its post and push it home. Okay, so now we're ready for the other side of the hardware at the front. All right, so the longer screw through the back side, out through the front. Put your nut on there. All right, last piece of hardware for the intake. Uh, the lid hardware, a little four millimeter Allen that goes right into this corner. Get your threads lined up. And snug that down. All right, so we're gonna put our cover back on, slide the back in, pop the front down, our hood release back on, and our engine cover. Well, folks, there you have it. That is the Cole Phaser Lufttechnic intake system from ECS Tuning for the B9S4. Uh, it sounds fantastic, it looks awesome, and it installs super easy. Uh, so I hope this video helped you with your install. I appreciate you watching it. Uh, as always, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, throw a like down on this video, a comment, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.